Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I know it's surprising, I'm actually back. I've said multiple times that I was gonna come back, but I just haven't. And I apologize to all of you. I've just been extremely burnt out from YouTube recently, as well as being busy and just not having a lot of ideas for YouTube videos recently. But I'll be trying to work on some more content soon to put out for you guys, and uh, once again, I'm really sorry. But I thought today maybe we should do another disturbing meme compilation, as it's been quite a long time since we did the last one. Anyways, let's get started. Two quick things before the video starts. One, I'm sure you've noticed that I haven't been using the voice filter so far, and I'm interested to see what you guys think, so tell me in the comments if the video sounds better with the voice filter or you prefer it without. And number two, sorry if my voice sounds off a bit in today's video, I'm currently a little bit sick, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Anyways, let's start. You have returned from the long reconnaissance mission deep inside the enemy territory, completely exhausted, traumatized, but you can barely remember anything related to the primary objective. Your command has decided to apply a new memory extraction method. They scanned your brain, made a comprehensive map of all your neural connections and gave it to the AI. All of your memories, emotions, fears and hidden desires become part of the machine learning model. They thought that the AI could recollect all fragments of shattered memories and restore the full picture of what you've seen. Everything went painfully wrong. Abominable creatures that were created from your mind, forged in a Latin space, and carefully selected by unknown mechanisms hidden in the black box of the machine. Learning were finally unleashed. It won't take long for them to break the walls of their digital prison and enter our world. Here's how to frighten the new generation. Put them in a submarine under an ocean of blood. Put them in a submarine where the doors have been welded shut. There are no windows. There is no way to see anything. There is, however, a small camera on the front of the submarine. And something is trying to tear apart the sub. Now for the people unaware of what this is referencing, here's a bit of context. This post is referencing a game called Iron Lung, which was an immersive horror game created in 2022. You play as a convict placed in a rusty old submarine and set to explore an alien planet, which is made of primarily an ocean made of blood. If the game seems interesting to you, I highly recommend you go play it or watch a YouTuber play the game as it's a really good horror game. Anyways, on to the next post. Humanity always wanted to find alien life, to find others like us, to prove that we weren't alone in this vast universe. We broadcasted our location into the void, sending out signals and probes towards possibly life-bearing. Exoplanets seemed like a good idea back then. It doesn't seem that way anymore. Now that hundreds of signals detected from interstellar space started rapidly approaching our solar system from multiple directions, the probes sent out to greet the incoming alien crafts weeks ago were destroyed in an instant. The contacts have just passed the Cooper belt. The observation platform orbiting Pluto was completely annihilated. We always wish for first contact. It was supposed to be peaceful. It was supposed to be an incredible moment. It was never meant to be like this. That is genuinely a terrifying thought. I mean, just imagine like multiple alien signals coming from every direction to Earth. This is why I always say, I mean, aliens could be good or they could be completely evil and wipe out our entire species. It's really a 50-50 chance. Today is the last day at camp, so you decide to go for one last swim in the lake before heading home. You arrive home feeling great. Wow, what a week. Four days later, you have intense headaches and now you have nausea. The negleria fowleri in your brain. You're already dead. This one, in my opinion, is one of the most scary so far, as negleria fowleri is actually a real thing. It's a brain-eating parasite that was found in lakes in the US. The parasite enters through the nose and is found in bodies of water. While the possibility of getting this disease is extremely low, it's still extremely terrifying as these things quite literally eat your brain until you're dead. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that lesson there, and I'm sorry for traumatizing you about going into lakes now. Uh, you did click on this video, so can't blame me. Man, I can't wait to try out my new telescope. Ah, uh, this must be the Hourglass Nebula. It looks a bit weird. Wait. Imagine that, just getting a new telescope and looking at that and just seeing that thing blink at you. Like imagine being the person that first found that, just looking through your telescope and just seeing that. I would I would be absolutely terrified. I would not be able to sleep. 
Like, holy shit, that thing's creepy. Anyways, moving on to the next meme. All the guys in the 14th century were so wild, bro. You all were so over the top. If you're from the 14th century, let me know in the comments below. Your experimental faster than light drive has failed. You are stranded halfway through your journey. An unfathomable distance from Earth or your destination. It will be millions of years before anyone can reach you without FTL. Your rations and oxygen supply will keep you alive for the rest of your natural life. But you are thousands of light years away from the nearest planet. You will drift for eternity, seeing things humanity could never dream of. Today I will summon Bilado. <laughs> Making it to heaven, I need to learn that blaspheming the Holy Spirit was a truly unforgivable sin. I said it wasn't real when I was six. I breathe air for you. I pump blood for you. I filter waste for you. Eat the child. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was goofy as hell. Oh, I'm oh, <laughs> uh, moving on. The dog staring at his neighbors after his vegan owner slipped and broke their neck. There was nothing to stop him now. Here's an easy fix to the situation. Don't be an idiot and make your dog a vegan. Dogs rely on meat and protein. Give them the food they need. I hope this meme served as a good lesson for all the people out there literally starving their dogs off vegan meals. Step 1. All particles move according to physics. Step 2. Know the position and state of every particle in the universe. Step 3. Use complete knowledge of physics to predict the future. Step 4. There is no free will. Even the way neurons fire in your brain was predetermined since the start of the universe. I actually do think about this one a lot just by myself. Do we actually have free will or are our lives all predetermined and everything we do structured? Either way, it can be terrifying but also comforting. It's a really interesting theory. Being the sole survivor of the human race, you never bothered locking your cabin door, seeing as there wasn't anything alive that could use the doorknob anyways. At least, that's what you thought. You come home from hunting and gathering to find the door wide open. The woods around you become completely silent. Sorry dude, that was me. I was just a little bit hungry. I was checking if you had anything in your house to eat. My bad. No, but on a serious note, that would be absolutely terrifying. I can't even imagine that. Like, what do you do in that situation? What would you guys do? Tell me in the comments. Would you go, A, explore the house and try and see if there's anyone in there, or B, just go back into the Make Tesla coils, make them really big. Step 2. Disguise Tesla coils as trees, around your compound. Step 3. Lure blue helmets to your compound. I hate the antichrist. Step 4. Wait. Step 5. Activate Tesla coils. Get smitted with wrath of God. Step 6. Get raptured. Step 7. Rejoice with Christ as God pours all of his wrath on earth. Step 8. Live for eternity in paradise. You need to kill your three-year-old daughter. You need to do it. Kill her. Kill your daughter. Pick of new curtains. BRB. I keep hearing somebody whispering. Hello. I'll let you guys play the fun game of find the scary face in this photo. 
Rokos Basilisk. Google it, you non-voluntary clicker. The very essence of it calls to you. Once you are aware, you will never be able to go back. Man, we already discussed this guy in the last video. I'm sorry, I've just sent you guys down a massive rabbit hole that you'll never come back up from. After your whole life of being a devout Christian, sticking completely true to everything you knew from what you were already taught as a child, you finally reach the end of a long, yet relatively unfulfilled life. But you know that the reward awaiting you for all your time and devotion is upon you now. It's all worth it in the As a religious person myself, this one actually really freaks me out. I mean, we don't really know what happens after death. I guess we just have to keep faith in what we believe in. Me when the plane I've been tracking on flight radar suddenly disappears halfway through the Atlantic Ocean. Hear me out here, I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is referring to the Bermuda Triangle. And if so, that shit is terrifying. Did we ever end up figuring out what actually happened over there? The 23 year old tiger. Where is he? National Park Service refuses to speak about this case. Search for him called off after two days due to extreme weather. Missing since 2014. Went missing despite being extremely prepared and experienced. Still missing. His clothes were found neatly folded on the top of a boulder in 2016. The 27-year-old tiger. Where is he? National Park Service still refuses to acknowledge his existence or potential whereabouts. Friends described him as adventurous and not afraid of anything. Missing since 2014, cell phone pinged once in 2018 somewhere in Nevada. His wallet and keys were found on a boulder with a pair of folded mismatched socks. Car was left unlocked in the state forest. Where is he? Dave, please, come home. The 28-year-old tiger has been missing for so long you start to doubt his own existence. Legally dead. Potentially spotted hitchhiking on security footage from 2015. He's just hope and peace. Where is he? Backpack was found in an old fire with a broken digital camera. Where is he? Police found his name and date of birth written on a tarp behind a Home Depot. But it was probably some teenagers. Yeah, they say he's a ghost. Where is he? The 34-year-old hiker is considered an urban legend on his local forest. Looks like the rake creepypasta material. Don't even remember what his life used to be. Has lost all humanity inside of him. Has become one with nature. Has natural smell used to camouflage and hunt. All attempts of trying to search him have been abandoned. He is considered dead. Can we smell it from kilometers? Local town sheriff says that he saw him around his department at night. Was scared shitless. The 46 year old survivor returned home safely. Thinks no evil, does no evil. Always a yellow light if out of 10 at night without a fire. Trust his gut always. Weird smell of copper and roses in the air. I have a night to walk here. Always wears natural colors. Never leaves a hiking partner out of his sight. Leaves the berries for the birds. Carries a gun. Psalm 23-4. Carries a gun. It's nightfall. Evening is a time of change. Be careful. Respects the trees. Treads lightly. Always carries his trusty steel water bottle. Hums a song to make his presence known. Path along a river. Walks a few steps away every mile. Has read all missing 411 books. It seems that there was something in that forest that completely changed this man, changed his morals, changed his thoughts, changed the way he dressed, changes his supplies and what he brings with him everywhere and what he does. Also, I'm sorry, there were just a few words and sentences in there that were just way too pixelated for me to read. But anyways, for the Psalms 23 to 4, it reads, 4. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. By the way, uh, about this post, I'm not sure if it's actually referencing anything or if it's a made-up thing. If you do know, tell me in the comments because I'm actually really interested in this. And I'd be happy to make a video about it if uh, you guys can tell me where it's from. Jobs in the past. Spaceship pilot. Gene Splicer. Engineer super soldier. Colonist supervisor. Jobs now. Well, I mean, 
mean, at the end of the day, aren't we all just fuel for the machine? Alright, let's move on to the last meme for today. I'm sure majority of the people watching this video understand this and uh, and don't worry, and don't worry, I'm not going to show the jump scare. Once again, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'm really sorry it's taken this long for me to upload again. Like I said at the beginning, I've been pretty burnt out, but hopefully now I'll start doing a lot more videos. Also, if there's any subreddits in particular or any Reddit users or mysteries that you guys want me to cover, I'll leave them in the comments below and I'll try to get to them and make a video about them. And once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and peace.